This is not Oculus, pal. This is see no evil. This is Glockulus. Get out your guns. Call me Coculus. May 19th. Morpheus Orpheus. May 19th. Kane from WWE. See no, no he's evil. He's not from WWE. That's... You can't convince me. They made he's, the fucking movie. Don't argue with me. the future. They made the future, future man. Your house and rip out your Knoxville County. They, they, made a movie. they made other movies before. They made my balls. Oh my. Oh yeah, name, oh yeah, name 52 of them. The director did make your balls. He loved his erotic thrillers. Shout out to Gregory Dark. I wonder what you're doing right now. Be Gregory, Gregory Dark. Dark. If you're Gregory Dark, right in. I should have got him on the pod. Be better, better than Damien Dark. Am I right, fellas? Greg. Nobody watches Arrow, dude. <laughs> I watched Arrow. I watched all of Arrow. We were there, dude. That's we were in the lie. trenches. I watched all of Arrow. You can't fucking tell me it's a lie. Except for season eight. I didn't watch that shit. I went and saw Cody Rhodes at the ROH house show, and I told him, "Hey, man, who? I really, I'm, we're really looking, we're looking forward to seeing you in Arrow." Yeah, Ty, Ty, Pete, and I. I don't know saw who that him. Is. Went to went saw Arrow? Cody, all capitals, Cody. Cody oh, at an RH show the in Warrior. this city, and we said, "Hey, we watch Arrow. We're we're waiting for the episode, dude. It's gonna be sick." He's like, and "Whoa, he no way!" Us with his head cocked to the side and said, "Huh?" Listen, man, <laughs> what'd you what'd you I say, brother? I can't see what you're saying there because there's no evil here. Hmm. Truly. I mean, you would see it if it was. You wouldn't see it if it was evil. Hey, so man. The implication of we're the gonna title we're is... gonna go investigate this uh, this freakazoid. He's got a got a hook, maybe. I don't know. I don't here. understand the premise of this movie. Emerald, Maybe I need I... you to jump in and explain. Emerald, yeah. all right. Over. So, premise of the movie. First off, let's get our setting. We absolutely do not know where the fuck we are. They don't give us a setting. No name of the town. No name of... We're maybe in the United States. I don't know. White it's people giving me LA vibes. So, we open this movie with flashes of an old shitty trailer park and this scared, bald child sitting in the corner. Then we hard cut to a bunch of cops in, I want to say, like, 90s cop car. So, I guess, Crown 90s Vic. setting. Uh, pulling up, dirty old house. Uh, they were called there for a disturbance or some shit. They go up to the door, knock on it, no answer. Knock on it again, no answer. Uh, you can hear weird Jesus music being played from inside. Very creepy. Uh, they hear a woman scream. What are the, so, what are the lyrics to the song? Uh, uh, something about Jesus loves all children of the world. Yeah. And it just it. repeats that over and over again. Very Checks weird. Out. I never heard mm -hmm. that when I was being forced to raise Catholic. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, they cut, to the, they cut to the kitchen prayer, dude, when he was dying on the ground. <laughs> I'm rewatching uh, anyway, it for everybody. They hear, a, they hear a woman scream. So as all cops do, oh, hey, that means I can just uh, enter this house without a warrant. Burst down the door. Probable cause. Uh, Probable cause. They go in, they call out, they see blood on the walls, and then they enter the main room. They see this woman crying on the floor. She is cowering in fear. They're like, oh, is she all alone in here? And they surround her. One cop goes down, checks her face, gets scared. Other cop behind him is like, what the fuck? And cop in the back, immediately cut down by our killer. He goes to uh, attack the other cop, cuts off his left arm, but the cop manages to get the shot off, shoots the killer in the head. He is dead on the floor. Officer down, blah, blah, blah. Then we see behind it, we see the woman's face. Her eyes have been plucked no. out. And no. So, no, how is um, she going to see evil? evil? She cannot. She cannot see evil. Her eyes oh my are Oh, my God. Missing. And Bro, so the, they decide to pan the camera directly into the eye holes of the woman for no reason. I mean, it looks cool. They do not do a beginning credits for this movie. Not that I remember. Then they cut to, uh, you know, uh, news reporters out in front of the house talking about... They're all There's like five news reporters all talking over each other. Very bizarre. We get the name of the cop that survived. His name is Frank Frank Williams. Like, I'm a Frank. The sassiest the, the cop woman, in the force. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woman was the only survivor. Everybody else who died had their eyes plucked out as well. All that said and done. And then it cuts to four years later. They actually managed to give us that. Four years later from this event, we are in the apartment building of Officer Williams. He's got a shitty prosthetic in his left arm. 
and he's working at a new job it, at a correctional facility. As I'm uh, rewatching it, the prosthetic is just some like tape over his hand, and he's just using his hand like normal. He's he grips stuff yeah. up. Oh, I yeah. mean, but it, it's incredible. It's, they definitely so, like painted it too. Of, it, he, yeah, he kind of like uses it almost back. as like a like a plastic stand in a way. Yeah, he grew yeah, back. Kinda, you know, he's I mean, he's the like, sexiest boy. He thugs he, it out. Like he can't move it. We cut to his new job at quote unquote county detention center. Well, hold up, yeah, we don't know where it's at. It doesn't give us any did, indication of where this could be. Why did Kane use an axe, America. dude? He used an axe. He didn't use his little signature hook. Well, he gets he gets That's that like, after the the, uh, like, the uh, update. All right, so like yep. I'm not gonna yeah, spoil needs, the movie, DLC. but like that was in context two. to later in the movie, why is Kane here in this house? It was making him. Why is a uh, you know like? I mean, did we find that out later? Was, yeah, we literally they later. don't even we show it. They don't, they don't talk about why he was at that they house. They do. They do. Yeah, they show oh, that no, no, house. No. Yeah. That do they? No, yeah, they that was that the trailer part. At the beginning, no. At the beginning house, no. It's just a random location that they used to. Yeah, set say it up. no. The house where the rest of the movie takes place, the big skyscraper. Yeah. But it's the starting hotel. house. Do we don't know well, why? Like, yeah, because uh, the trailer was, park. No, I thought that was his home in the flashbacks. No, no, no. So we have the trailer no, park. No. That's the home where all the bad things happen. And then you have this house where he's just chilling at with a lady with no eyes and a bunch of uh, Christian iconography everywhere and Jesus music playing. And then you yep, got the 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 prison. And then you got big hotel. And that's that's all you got for the movie. I think Give I want to know why. And it's me, like, theory crafting here, but I think yeah. the implication is him and his mom. That's where they were doing it, you know? It's an abandoned house who's going to go there. Whoa, what do you mean doing it? Doing the, the bad things to other we'll people. By it. It. Uh, uh, it's, it's time to meet our characters. That's right, it's not just the one cop. We got okay. Russell what, Walt, and we yo. got why he's in jail. Uh, yeah, why is he in the claim? stolen property. No, but the cool oh, thing is when, he's, when they do the jail cut, they stare directly they at the camera. They stare directly they at you. They all stare directly at the camera. It's great. And, and it's like a, a black and white freeze frame for a solid two seconds. Even if they're not looking at you, it'll, it'll show you. Next up, we got Richie Burnson. Computer fraud. Whatever the fuck that means. Computer fraud <laughs> is the coolest kind of fraud. Richie puts on yeah, this dude, accent dude. like he's a fucking Oni character, and he's just like, hey guys, come on guys, what the heck, dude? Stop it. Guys, come yeah. on guys. I'm give me, give me, some, of them, give me some of them drugs, dude. Come on, dude. And so, uh, while, while this is happening, we're cutting <laughs> yeah, like, back and that one, boys. Hold, hold hey. on now. I'm we okay. cut to a bus and, uh, full of uh, lady uh, prisoners, and yeah. they're talking about this is the first co-ed program of its kind. Bad idea. We'll yeah. get to that later. Oh yeah, uh, you know, you know why they do that, right? Why? It can't be a horror movie unless someone's getting penetrated. That right. is so true. Well, that's, oh, that's why. That's why Kane's here to do when the they're, penetrating. When they're walking across to get on the bus, fake Paul Walker has like got like a couple condoms hanging out of his pocket. Yeah. 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 Yep. First All woman, this cast is Christine Zarati, aggravated assault. Now Let's pay go, attention Christine. to Christine, yeah. guys. She's our main character, apparently. We don't know that. What? So then we got allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Then allegedly. we got a uh, rich white bitch, Zoe Warner, shoplifting. She just does it wow. for the thrill. She does it for the thrill of the game. She does it for the thrill. She also had condoms on the bus, and they got taken away. But when the lady turned her back, she steals them back. Whoa. Need them. So, so this is this is what really threw me off about her being the main character. It's like typically, you know, the the trope in horror movies is the one that doesn't want to have sex, is the one that's the main character and the one that lives. But it's the opposite here. They're being very sex positive in this film. Yeah. 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 All right, cut back to the boys. We got Michael Montrose, possession with intent to sell, assault, and battery. And does He's it. He's our grade A asshole of the film. And he so does bad. it right in front of everybody. Yeah. And yep. he says, can you help a white boy out to the other white character? No, 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 but no. He, no. Does, that, he Russell, does that to anger Russell, the black guy. No, no, no. He was talking to Russell. Russell is not white. He's uh, Hispanic. Is he Hispanic? Is that wow, confirmed? Ty, come on. Kyle, Ty, dude. Are you erasing his Ty, race? I think, I don't, I do not, I, he might be, he might be Ty's passing. Ty's up for racial erasure. No, 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 no. I Ty, know a white boy when on. I see him. That's a white boy. 
No, come He's on. He's passing. Are you going to tell me Cody Rhodes is passing next? <laughs> come on. No, Cody Rhodes oh, is Cuban, on, dog. Dude. He was one All of right. three Latino champions. That's right. right. Cut back to the woman. We got <laughs> Hannah Anders. She is the women's correctional officer. She's the leader on the bus. We're not going to really get into her right now. We'll get there. Uh, we got Kira Vanning, possession with intent to sell. Kira. She's Hell important, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Kira. 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 Uh, All right, back to the boys. We got my boy, boys. Tyson Sims, breaking and entering, and possession. We love a good B&E around here. What, what, what did he have in his possession? Uh, who could say? The pack Kira. of condoms. Uh, they're okay. fucking in this one. You're giving more yeah. character development than the movie does, to be honest with you. And you know what, Ty? The best part is yeah. uh, he's not referred to Tyson in the film. He's referred to as Ty, but Ty. I watched with uh, closed captions on. That's T-Y-E. Yeah, I don't know where the E comes from. So Who why knows? are they getting on the bus? Are they being released? No, we'll they're, get there. they're, we'll get they're there. going on a trip on their favorite oh. rocket ship. I Back to the women, this we got movie. Melissa Boudreaux breaking and entering reckless endangerment. Uh, apparently she broke into uh, a dog pound and released all the dogs. Hey, you're the she dog pound. She let the dogs right? out. She's, she's so she, oh. she let the dogs out. You're, you're the dog pound liberator, right? Yeah, and then she just like looks at the camera. It's, it's, it was a jump scare because her eyes were not it just phew, ah freaky. Did her eyes disappear? No, it was like she was looking no. off to the side the and cane, then right the at your soul. Take her eyes already. Maybe is all that right. why everyone looks at the screen? Because you're. St- oh, yeah, oh wow, the dude. eyes are important. Oh, wow, oh, dude. Oh, Gregory dude. Dark, we found you out. <laughs> dude, he is, he, this guy is this guy is the Kino right here. All right, we have. We he have, took us uh, to the Kinema. We have met all of our characters. We know what they've done. Uh, but Richie has a proposition for Ty, and he says that once, and then we get to it later. <laughs> doesn't doesn't continue from there. Hey, Richie. All right, they ride the bus. Michael and Tyson, they have a big fight on the bus. They get separated. Because Michael is a little <laughs> bit racist. What? It's no 2006. Way. It was a different time. You you gotta have a guy that looks like Paul Walker, and you gotta have a guy that's a little bit racist. They that's just so happen true. to make him be the same character. Sometimes Paul Walker that's was true. that too. <laughs> what, what up, cuh? What Where up, are we cuh? going? <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to the Blackwell Hotel. It is a rundown and burned see, hotel this is, from this like. Is... This is what makes me think that this takes place in L.A. Because that just reminds me of that fucking hotel in L.A. that's supposedly haunted, but it's just filled with people like the do math and shit. It's the one yep. that the guy that played Joker in, um, oh, Jack in Nicholson? the Joker. Yeah. No, the Joker movie. Huh? Come on. Oh, which Joaquin one? Phoenix. Joaquin which Phoenix. One? River Phoenix. His younger brother died in that, in like a place nearby there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah. That yeah. sidewalk. Stuff yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, who's running this hotel? Why, it's this little old lady named Margaret Gaines. She works with a group that restores historical landmarks, and they plan to restore this hotel to yeah. not use it as a hotel, but use it as a homeless shelter. Yep. Bless yeah. up, Margie. Bless up. Because they're on Give fucking the Skid Row. shelter. Wow, what a nice we'll woman. Later. All right, so the deal is for this co-ed program, these delinquents have to clean the hotel for three days and they get a month off of their sentences. That oh, was the boy. Deal. A whole month. Uh, 30 days? So you have a month-long sentence. No, three days. That's way Not too 30. long of speaking. Three. One, two, three. Three days off their... Who would yes, take no. this proposition? No, they work there for three days to get a whole month off. Yeah, you yeah. don't work there for a month to get three days off, Joe. Come on. I, yeah. The the <laughs> logistics here are, are tough. Yeah. Well, I listen, don't... they also have to sleep and eat in this. They're all bad, there for like really nine major hotel. crimes. Yeah, like, like I guess Michael has like, uh, he did the most of the crimes. Yeah, then we have like computer crime, which is like, okay. <laughs> The, the boys and girls will shut up to do their jobs. Michael, he's sent off to clean the bathrooms with a mop because he's the biggest shithead. So while he is cleaning, it immediately cuts to him being watched through a hole. Bro, the purple wall. The perv hole. That, that's just Ooh. like a Scooby-Doo moment, you know, when the eyes start following them. Exactly. Um, and so he's getting a lot of movement directly above him. Someone's uh, partying, jumping up and down, getting dust all over him. Uh, and so he's like, knock it off. He breaks a pipe out of the wall. That pipe is very important because that's where he smokes his crack. 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. Or am I? You might be smoking. You can't believe it, dude. That, that was the possession and intent. Yeah, for real. I thought they meant like battery uh, and assault. Thought they also, meant like demonic also, possession. Also, the bucket water and the like the mop is already like disgusting Arky. and like yeah. gross. Yes. What are we doing here? We're, We're all in intents and purposes. Not even this a little bit of just like the mold from Final Fantasy or not <laughs> fucking Final yeah, Resident Evil Seven. <laughs> Bro, they didn't have any fucking cleaning supplies. There was no Dawn. There was no uh, no, no pink stuff. No bounty, dude. There was nothing no they fabuloso. could clean anything. No fabuloso, no dude. They should have left right off the bat. Pledge. You know, you should have said, "Hey, Williams, I gotta go." And he would have been Where's like, the fabuloso, I'm not letting you leave, officer? Uh, yeah, also, there's like what? Like, it's coming out of your commissary. Eight, eight of these kids, <laughs> and there's only like three older people. They could have easily just like. Jumped him Beat as him up and escaped. Yeah, it's yeah. one cop with one gun. What do you beat what him you with doing? hammers? Beat him with beat him yeah, with hammers. hammers. Hey, yo, Bunky, yeah. I'm about to make Michael a Cino evil ha- special. There, they, somebody left like one. a small sledgehammer in the bathroom. Yo, Michael yes. has a sledgehammer and a pipe. Yes, and he he Michael did grab it. He's like, no, this isn't big enough. Breaks breaks off pipe off of a wall. We hard cut to Christine cleaning up in uh, the hallway somewhere, and she hears a noise. She goes to check it out. Oh, it's just Kara in another room. She opened a window. She's like, oh, there's no bars on here. That's because it leads to the atrium in the center of the hotel. If you were to escape, you're still in the hotel. Sorry to interject, but Kira kind of like pulls her into the room. Yeah. And they kind of play like the horror, like boom, like like something's popping off, but it's not popping off. No, it's not popping off. Uh, Girlies are just having a girl boss moment. Yeah. So, uh, we learned that uh, Kira is upset because Michael is the is the guy. She used to work for Michael, and she's the he's the one who got Kira locked up. Wow. And now she has to uh, be in here with him directly down the hall. So she feels unsafe. So she whips out a pack of cigarettes she com- uh, stole from somebody, starts to smoke, Borrowed. and then who comes in? Frank Williams, our sassy cop extraordinaire. He's here to bust him for the cigarettes. No, he's he here to get a cigarette cunt. for himself. Yeah, he was serving cunt. Thanks. He opened up the door. He Thanks. said, comes in Give serving me some of that. And serving looks. Does right. it well, <laughs> when your hand's all taped up. All right. Yeah, His bro, hand is covered in duct tape. Hands. and he pre- No, he's, dude. He's, he's looks maxing. Mechanical. He's hands maxing. Yeah, he, he doesn't need He got that special it. surgery, dude. He got the one where you just put like a plastic piece on his arm and it just kind of molded over it. And so he's got a new he's hand. He's just mewing at us for the yeah. whole time, basically. Are they smoking American spirits? They're smoking the good stuff. They were smoking American spirits. spirits? Yeah. Bro, this is Bro, I, I, thought I, saw, I thought I saw a lucky strike in there. A couple Richie nifty. and Ty, they're cleaning up. Rich is like, hey, that proposition I was talking about, this old hotel, I got the blueprints to it. How There's a that? whole bunch of secret passageways and such because the owner was on some freak shit. There's a hidden safe somewhere. I want you to help me find it so we can get that pay dirt. If you guys made built a hotel, would you build the secret rooms? Absolutely. Not for like yeah. reverse 100%. purposes, but just oh, to like run around. Yeah, just yeah. so you can like get around. And then I'm just now remembering that the hotel was not built to be a hotel. The owner built it to be a weirdo with his friends. You see, that's what we would do. Yeah, yeah. dude. It's like, well, think that, about it this way, right? Yeah. It's like old high schools were built with like the secret teacher dungeons in them, so you can <laughs> move around the building. It's just yeah. like that. So we can hide our fucking Pokemon cards or whatever the hell behind yeah. all the walls. What do those kids like, fucking do now, dude? If we ever had a you don't have to do this compound, I would build it like the Sino <laughs> Evil Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Instead of clean. I would. I would have a barkeeper. No, you dog. know what? I don't want to because you know, like later in the movie, you know what? If I'm on the elevator and Joe just smacks it with a hammer and the whole elevator goes down, I'd be like, God damn it! No, Joe. Joe wouldn't build it like that. It would be like the hotel, but everything would be extremely granite, white, and gold. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Every era of the dream. <laughs> also, no elevators. You guys are taking the fucking stairs. Fuck you. Oh come on, dude. Why can't anyway. we ever get the budget to fix the elevator, dude? I'm, we I'm cut to Christine. Christine's I'm in the Penny. kitchen cleaning up. Frank walks in. And he's like, you know, Christine, I'm glad you're here. I read your file. I know about your past. I understand why you did that to your, why you assaulted your stepfather. 
No, you're brushing over the fact. You're brushing over the fact that Christine is in the the most disgusting kitchen ever, well, and yeah. she's spending all her time cleaning one paintbrush. The cigarettes are actually the most pleasant thing you could smell at this place. Honestly, These people probably yeah. will like would shower in a fucking pig's like st- whatever the fuck it is. You got the, the slop, the dude. Trough. Got the slop. Yeah. <laughs> Slop trough, slop trough. Uh, there's a lot of just hard cuts to random places and random people. So now we're going to hard cut back to uh, the atrium where everyone is now having lunch. I don't know how much time has actually passed in this movie, but I guess it's lunchtime now. We see Russell. He's cozying up to Melissa because he likes Melissa. She, He thinks she's sexy and he wants to uh, quote unquote hit that. Uh, Whoa, a stray so dog appears, and Melissa's like, yeah, stray dog, and tries to feed it. And then, of course, Michael, being the ass he is, throws a beer can at it, scares it off. She's like, you fucker, why did you do that? He is starving. Poor dog little pussy. baby boy. Take care of that dog. I wonder if that'll come around. He, he stole Richie's Mr. Pibb, too. What? This is true. This is true. Uh, Not and so... Pib. Now now we're back into, like, nighttime. It's bedtime for these fuckers. Michael and Russell are like, hey, we're going to go party instead. You guys coming? Ty and Richie, they're like, nah, we're just sleep. So Michael and Russell go off to have party, do drugs with the girls, all that stuff. And then, ha-ha, Tyson and Richie, they're out to get the money. They go to go find the safe, get the money. Cuts to Kira uh, undressing. To take a Whoa. shower. Whoa. And we get Whoa. a Whoa. Butt shot. Jeez. A fly shows up. <gasps> and if you watch the film like I have, you'll know that flies are very important in this movie. <gasps> As we cut to the back, she is being watched through a peephole. Ladies oh and gentlemen. God. Ladies and gentlemen, Russell I want to. gave her the potato salad earlier. Everybody, <laughs> take a beat here. I want to pause and roll it back for a moment. Can we just address how absolutely disgusting the shower is? Oh. It's oh so yeah, bad. it's so nasty. It, it is, it is single-handedly nasty. like one of the most disgusting places I've ever seen. Like, like she goes in barefoot. She goes in barefoot. They don't I, even like, do that in real she, prisons and penitentiaries. She probably Dude, was more dirty coming hotels. out of it than going in. I don't I'm do that in hotels. I'm surprised the water was clean. It wasn't probably. <laughs> I mean, it looked clean. I wear shot. slides every time I walk into a hotel shower because I'm not fucking with that. No. Damn, Kane, this is what you're living like. And there's already water on the shower, too. I felt like yeah, she should have... It's, it's mud. Well, that's, it's, like, that's just straight-up mud. mud. There's mud, mud everywhere. Uh, and we see she's got a lot of tattoos. She's got religious tattoos. Oh, oh my. That she might be Jesus important tattoo. later. Jesus. Jesus. That's she's, got some, uh, she's got some crucifix earrings, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. She uh, loves her so... religious imagery. Uh, Kira, she uh, realizes she is being watched, and she yells out Michael immediately, because who else would it be, obviously? And right. so she gets out of the shower, she covers up, and who bursts through the door? Oh, shit, it's actually Michael. And he goes to be really bad. Takes her by the throat. Who's there to stop it? It's Christine. This is why we don't this, have co-ed scene... issues, like, stuff Ooh. like this. Because we have this freaks. This scene was literally so fucking grotesque, and it felt like, like again, I'm not going to judge an actor by what they're asked to do. Just felt like this dude enjoyed it a little too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was kind of into it. Yeah. Yeah. Allegedly. Said. Yeah. We but it's okay. There, Christine folks. comes, saves her, gets that bitch out of there. Kira is safe. Uh, she consoles us. They, they hug a little bit. And then we cut to our boys, Tyson and Richie, looking for that safe. Richie's like, oh, we got to go this way. Oh, the door's locked. What do we do? Tyson's like, Boy, I got this. I can pick locks. Oh, bro! Locks. Whoa! He just what? like what he did that because he he's like the most urban character here, you know. Whoa! 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 whoa. Okay, so as a you know, like, I'm <laughs> also that, not me, man. I'm watching it in uh, silence right now, and uh, Emerald, she not only is bathing in that water, she opens up her mouth like all sexually, and oh, has whoa. a bunch of water going in. So she is drinking oh. this water. Oh, maybe she's not drinking it, but it's yeah, it, it, it is it is going helmet. it is going in and out of her mouth. Yeah, before what, Michael what? comes in and like barges in on Kira, like we don't know if they I like mean, barging in is like the, the smallest level of word you could use for what he did. But go on. Yeah, well, you know, just to get the to this part, which is uh, gross. She just like 
like we don't know. They didn't bring anything inside of this place. No. She just, just wraps her like this disgusting dingy towel around her. Oh my god, Ugh. yeah, that's right. That's a that's a just that's like, an old uh, musty hotel. Uh, uh, just so, so many questionable decisions. Hey, what's what's that disease you get? Uh, when ingesting standing water just really gross water. Oh, Legionnaire's disease. Legionnaire, yeah. yep. <laughs> She's got Legionnaire's disease now. <laughs> yeah, everyone playing yeah. laugh at her. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Ha-ha, anyway. Legionnaire's. Ha-ha. Uh, where were you we? Got the oh, Roman yeah. Empire disease. Zoe Ha-ha, and idiot. Melissa, they go to meet the party boys. Melissa even shaved her legs that Zoe had to make a comment about. It's fine if you don't shave your legs. I don't Women shave be shaven. Legs. I'm a horse. Did we talk Women about Ty breaking into rooms? Because that happened they beforehand wouldn't. a little bit. Yeah, and that... I and then we had to roll back. <laughs> yeah, we had yeah, to okay. And you talking about yeah, because uh, you know a shower. they had to make him a little yeah, little hand. lock picker, a little uh, breaking and entering person. You know, he's so, yeah. he's so good, dude. Yeah, well, he's you know, if smart. this place had like the security, like what do you mean console, he's street smart? You know, <laughs> you know, Richie would be in there hacking it up. This is definitely class based systems, Dead by Daylight style. This is definitely yes. Dead by Daylight. They have perks, bro. They got perks. 100% Dead by Daylight. I have noticed when doing my second watch through, there are a lot of shots of just bugs and rats. I oh. get it. We're in a dirty hotel, and that's old and just absolutely dog shit. But you don't have to keep showing us. Well, the bugs, bugs and rats. we find that those are kind of like, uh, you the know. calling sign. Yeah, they're the calling well, sign for well, Jacob. The the ones where they just do random shots close up is just is just cockroaches. The important that's ones are true, not cockroaches. True. No, they're like giant flies. But like, you know, like what like wherever he goes, like they kind of go, you know, like because yes. of what he like is about to do. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh. Then we cut to Frank and Hannah sharing a drink at the hotel bar. The, these are the supervisors. Ooh. Frank is the yeah. cop. Hannah yeah. is the. I'd... The, the, the security guard, guard, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. She's probably from the the female jail, the female jail's like uh, equivalent. Man, do you smell that? What, what the, the fuck, fuck is, is that, that smell? smell? <laughs> what the, the fuck, fuck is, is that, that smell? Hold on, you gotta hit you gotta hit a table too. <laughs> what the fuck is that smell? All right, what's our counter at? Make it big. Add plus one more. What the smell. fuck is that smell? <laughs> that sounded like you bleeped it out. That was scary. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, but what is that smell? Hey, Rich and Ty, they find a dead body. It's a dead homeless man. Oh, What's yeah. that? I thought all the homeless guys were cleared out to clean the hotel. His eyes they are thought wrong. There's a rat actively like crawling on. The rat does not care about them. Oh, yeah. my. That's his friend. What? Was his friend. That, this, this homeless man is dead. His eyes are gone. But yeah. friendship is forever. Be? Richie Richie makes the point that like the hotel is run down because of a fire yeah. from like thirty years ago. Yep, thirty five uh, years ago. And that it shouldn't that body shouldn't be here because he looks younger than that. And he not looked, it looks He's too fresh. fresh also, they did not use a fresh homeless man. He was gray and wrinkled. <laughs> They kept He's the... kind of like blue. <laughs> like a He's... fresh corpse would still be like like the, the the decrepit corpse of like thirty years ago would be severely more decayed than he than he was. I'll give I, them that. I yeah, guess. I think presumably it's like a recent dish. Yeah, yeah. Richie, yeah, definitely. Being the scared white boy he is, runs away because ah, this homeless man is dead. His eyes are missing. I am scared. Runs off. And then that shit locked in on his fucking well, face. Well, he, he ran off him. because Ty was looking for the homeless guy's money. Yeah, he was he was not with that it. That's so, true. That's that a whole other true. issue. We, yeah. we don't we yeah. don't we don't have uh, very intelligent characters here. No, no, they're kids. The sense of self preservation is is non existent. Everything they went to jail most... for is their whole character. They're kids played by forty year olds. Richie Richie was Roblox scamming. They're also <laughs> most real fans. <laughs> You're right, he was. But anyway, Richie, he's by himself. He's checking the blueprints. There's an elevator door behind him. They open. Who is Somebody's it? In it? It's Kane. He's got and a big he's hook. The meat hook. It's Glenn Jacobs. It's Mira that shit at him too. And so, what does Kane do? He fucking whips the hook at uh, Richie, gets him in the leg, starts dragging him in. He's so proficient with it. I was like, Richie, where are you? 
finds him around the corner. He watches Kane drag Richie into the elevator. Uh, Kane picks him up, smashes him against the wall, knocks him out, drags him into the elevator. Now he's getting dr- so, dragged into the elevator, and Ty is like in the hallway. Like, no. like, it's like a it's like a four way section. He's like in the back of one side. Yeah, and he can see a uh, Jacob Kane man pull him into the the elevator, and Richie's just like writhing on the floor because yeah. the hook is like in his like calf. Yeah, yeah, it's nasty. It's in there. I just wanted I want to bring up the fact that Kane's real name is Glenn Jacobs, and the character in this is Jacob Goodnight, right? Yeah. And mm-hmm. so they just took his last name and made it the first name of the character and took the first initial of his first name and made it the first initial of his last name. He's the car yeah, through yeah, and yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, this Gregory is Black, WWE we see your game. Oh, so what I'm being led to believe here, since he looks visually the same as Kane, is that this is now Kane's origin story. Well, as we are dealing with <laughs> oh. on Raw currently, he is freaking out that this movie's coming out and is going to expose him. So Yeah, May yeah. 19th. Yeah. Well, we'll get there. <laughs> Eventually. What hopefully. Gooning does to a motherfucker. It's true. Ooh. Yeah, so Ty is just wow. the... I don't know what is up with the shaky cam. The whole scene, they had uh, Richie running down the hall. Like, it was There's like, some pa- odd pan on his face the whole time. like, directorial style here. The yeah, cinematography whenever, changes. Yes, whenever Kane is nearby, they do this weird camera shake and, like extra bloom on the characters to like visualize the evil that is being yeah, it's his domain expansion or whatever yeah d- yeah, yeah domain expansion it's it is same. kane's domain expansion yeah yeah because it goes into like a normal shot right of richie getting pulled into the elevator and then you see ty like watching and then it goes back to richie getting pulled into the elevator and it cuts back to ty in a boom domain expansion ty is like fearing and he goes no and then it goes back and then richie gets thrown into the wall and then the elevator slowly closes on his legs, and then they yep. put like a clip art noise of bone crunching. Yep. Yes, yes. And then we're back to normal. Even yeah. even like aside from those changes, though, if you just notice, like throughout the film, there's like changes where there's like randomly a zoom that makes it feel like a found footage film for some reason. Like yeah. there's somebody there actually recording them instead yeah. of just being like a static shot. It's a very weirdly filmed movie. Yep. Yeah, I, yeah. All right, okay. uh, we cut back to the bar. Frank and Hannah. Uh, Margaret shows up. She informs them, informs them that someone's in the elevator. They must be out of their rooms. So Hannah's like, I got this, because she's the mom of the, the whole field trip. She goes. She gets in the elevator. To no, we skipped the kid. wedding ring lore, guys. Come on. That's not important. No one cares. It is, cares. It it is important. Yeah, yeah. She she said, it is important. Is it? Oh, yeah, she, she has she, a wedding ring. She's getting married. She's considering getting engaged to her her love interest, who we don't see. Right, and Frank says, you might as well just do it. Yeah, he's like, what she gets in the elevator. She was wearing it on her right hand uh, ring finger, right? Yeah. And he's like, why aren't you wearing it on the left? And he's she's like, well, I'm still thinking about it. That's when he hits her with, the, well, you should just go ahead and do it. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then Kane said, you're evil, pal. Uh, she does do the ring swap. Yeah. Uh, she presses the button for the second floor. <laughs> But the elevator keeps going. It stops on the eighth floor. The door opens. A fly appears. She says, hello? And then she is, Kane, out of nowhere, just grabs her by the neck, throws her up in the ceiling, onto the ground. She's knocked out. Arm gets caught in the elevator door. So Kane picks her up, throws her down, repositions her. Now her head gets caught. But he's like, okay, I'll just do it. Rips out her eyes. Hannah's dead. I, I don't our... know I don't know why they killed Hannah. What well, what did she have to do with anything? It's because she, just she, made you feel bad. And she was wearing a ring finger. She was yeah. wearing it on her ring finger. She's there to make you she's there to make you sad as a viewer. She's so like, wow. evil. Everyone knows. Yeah. You're like Free wow, she had marital relations. She had oh some my. life ahead of her. She was about to get married. She what? just realized she loved her, her future husband so much that she was going to accept the proposal. She's done and never and Kate get said, him. that's not Christian enough, big dog. You're done. Sorry, yeah. sorry, ma'am. You're dead. What Ew. the fuck is that smell? Uh, what the fuck is finger. that smell? Smell this finger. Do not smell that finger. That is, Don't a, even it is a nasty it. finger. It's, it's for finches, but humans can drink it too. 
<laughs> the elevator door just keeps like trying to close on her head. Yeah, no, Kane, That's a good the bit, killer, though. does not know how to uh, properly position a body so it doesn't get caught in the elevator door. That is the bit. Well, he's a, a very he's, funny bit, honestly. It's pretty. It's a good physical comedy, which is yeah, well, one the, thing this movie gets absolutely correct. It's the physical comedy. Truly. Yeah, I mean, look. Eventually, you learn he doesn't have a brain, so it all checks out. Hard well, cut hold on. To we, them being dropped you, into you skipped a the jar. shot. You skipped the shot of Hannah's eyeball getting dropped in the piss. Yeah. What? Yeah, they dropped yeah. the eyeball in the piss. He, he I was just saying that the layer. eyeball's getting dropped into the jar. The jar of piss. A piss. The jar. Yes, yeah, the jar of piss. piss. I wasn't yeah, going to say it. We it got jars. Piss. Think, we got we piss jars. We all know what it is. Yeah, yeah, but the viewer, the viewer. Dude. They don't know what it is. You got to show them the jar of piss with the eyes in it. We can't We with can't see, eyes. Pete. My eyes have been taken. Yeah. Is it it's in like the piss the jar? European Mountain Dew. I watched the ones. King got me. <laughs> European Mountain Dew is right. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean all by right. that? Cut to him watching some of the girls in their room. What a and pervert. Then it, and then it cuts again to Kira and Kis- Christine trying to escape through the kitchen because uh when we were when they were having lunch the dog the stray dog that appeared came from a hole in the wall in the atrium there's a win- a barless window in the kitchen they can use to get into the atrium and get out through the hole in the wall so they try to do that so while kira is really struggling with this window Christine's out making sure nobody's, you know, trying to catch them. Kira falls down, makes a big noise. She goes back to attempt it. Hey, there's this dumb waiter in the kitchen. That's weird. Why is it open? Oh, look at all these flies coming out of it. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Uh-oh. Flies. And who comes out of it? It's Kane. He's got the meat hook. He's so fast. Kira tries to run. Kira gets fucking hooked in the shoulder, everybody. <laughs> It's not pretty. Yeah. And he drags The hooks are her. the coolest thing about this movie, for sure. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Kane drags Kira into the elevator. She is kicking. She is screaming. They're all like, oh, what the fuck? And just as the doors close, Frank gets there. He's like, oh, no, I'm too late. He's like, Margaret, where does this go? Margaret's like, all the, every floor. It's Who the else elevator. Is here? Nobody. We cleared out all the homeless people. It's like Margaret, uh, you're a lying bitch, dude. Get out of here. We all know Margaret's a lying bitch. What a bitch, bitch, dude. Fake fan. Fake king. So, uh, Frank is like, well, I'm going to go help Kira. Gives Margaret a phone to call 911. Spoiler alert. That never happens. Oh, oh my. my. Come on, Fuck, dude. dude. What? No. Are you serious? Frank no, I think, the, uh, I think Mark's going to call 911. We got to check Christine in with him later, though. Christine joins Frank in the elevator. Frank's like, oh, what happened to you? As he points to the blood on her arm. She's like, nothing. She wipes it off. More blood appears. They look up. There's blood on the ceiling. What the fuck is going on? What the, what the fuck is that smell? The fuck is that what smell? The fuck is that smell? What the fuck is that smell? The fuck is that smell? What is the smudge? What you smudge? You yeah. smudge. While well, well, this intense, intense uh, <laughs> uh, amounts of scenes are going on, we what is that smee? We march to uh, the party children going to the penthouse. Michael's the got the fight. He's he's smashing up lights. He's smashing up glass. They're all gonna party, do drugs in the penthouse. Yeah, they get there, and then it once again hard cuts back to Frank and Christine, and so Frank pulls out his gun with his one good hand because you have to remember he's got prosthetic. Ooh, he's true. Like, Day close. And so they go. But who do they bump into? It's Ty. Ty's like, yo, he got Richie. Pull them into the elevator. He he repeats he pulled him into the elevator at four more times after this. He really need to make it a point. He also had to Kane smash a hole in the Richie wall. Richie in the elevator. Had the bugs come out and everything. He was like, ah. That was he true. He brushed up against it. It kind of did look nasty. Yeah. Yeah. And then, listen, Emerald, I got this. He took Uh-oh. Richie. Because Officer Sassy Man comes in, all fucking serving cunt, pulls out his He's gun, it up. and he says, listen, Kane's character, he Jacob took him. Yeah, no, you know what? They took that girl, 
and uh, he was using her because she had the religious tattoos. Oh my God, Kira also has the tattoos because the other girl said that. Uh, Christine says, "Wait, she has tattoos too." He's like, "Oh, we gotta go." And he he is just he is eating the scene. He is mewing everywhere. He's looking at the camera, going, "Oh my God!" Yeah, he's quickly realizing. Him this, that, this film uh, basically was a fan yeah. cam he for said, him. I got, he's like, I, I shot him in the head. That's why it's him. Yeah, you, you said he has a hole in the head. Yeah, well. <gasps> yeah, he's realizing that was the guy he shot at the beginning oh my of the movie. He's realizing. Oh, my God. Yeah, he, goes there. he is realizing. Because, well, because, well, we found this dead homeless man with his eyes ripped out. And Frank's like, no, it can't be. I shot him in the head. He should be dead. It can't be him me when i realize yeah but where was yeah. the body thing and then and then he gives her a couple clips of his gun and he goes best scene in the movie he he gets the, the he actually Give opens the, the door taser. by the way he opens the Give door the with taser. his hand he, he goes taser he goes i'm yeah. going i'm going after kira Ugh. certainly that could never oh. be used against them in any and possible he way gets, there's he gets, no way that taser is foreshadowing anything he gets out of that mm-hmm. scene Oh my god, I, I lost my mind. Pull it up a couple times, Emerald. A couple times. I want to see. I'm going yeah, after Kira. Go. Oh, going after Kira. And he grabs oh, the grabs the door with his oh. fucking non hand. Somehow he's able to grip it up. I don't know how he does yeah. it. He, yeah, he's going to jail <laughs> for aggravated his punt because he served like a motherfucker. He also grabs. Think... He also grabs Chris, Christine's arm. And he's just. <laughs> I think he just sort don't of places his hand around it. Like he he gets his hand on it. But the implication is that his hand can't move. I'm yeah, watching so. it right now. He's currently moving his finger. <laughs> no way. Don't worry about it. it has some, no, the the prosthetic has some ambulation. Yeah, Dude, he's crazy. like Nick oh. Valentine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't. Yeah, Come on, have yeah. you, Don't have worry you about played it Human Revolution? Frank gets got by the fucking meat hook. Bullshit. He was about to surf some <laughs> goddamn. He gets, he gets scooped up like the SpongeBob right hooks. up in <laughs> so his true. lower jaw, so and true. he is pulled up to the next Dude, floor. He is screaming. We hear some gunshots, and then he's just <laughs> fucking dead. He was hitting him with the Patrick Star at 30 hooks in the mouth at once. He is one of the eight deadly sins. Look, dude, Kira was like a big piece of cheese on that fucking hook, dude. I swear to God. For real. He ran right into it. No chance. We began the movie with this fucking cop, and we had all this establishment with him, and then he is just... Fucking dead. Fucking dead. 38 minutes into the fucking movie. He is not the main character. Get him out of here! Turns out he wasn't him, even though he thought he was. Even even in death, uh, getting dropped from the hook in the ceiling, he still served madly. It yeah, was crazy. Him and his husband, yeah. Copper, in heaven right now, looking down, going, "I wish I, I wish I could go after Kira." Uh, Kira, Shit. what's that smell? What the anyway. fuck is that smell, Kira? Uh, Chris, Christine so, grabs his gun. Well, well, and he we took his eyes. that in in a matter of. 22 seconds of him being pulled up, his eyes get ripped out of How his head, the fuck? and then dropped back, back down. Yeah, that Kang was working real fast Speed on this run, man. Baby. Speed run. <laughs> Listen, he's got no time left. Like, the movie's almost over. Kane's got to go. <laughs> We're halfway through this movie. He's got to but pick yeah, up the pace. Christine does take uh, the cop's gun as Ty is like, come on, we gotta go! Come on, we gotta go! Just like... Real NPCing it up there. Oh, but he wasn't doing I, that when he I don't know if it's NPC. I we feel like I would want to quickly escape as well. Come on, we gotta go. I, th- I Come think I is justified. <laughs> yeah, no. I'd also if if a WWE wrestler was trying to kill me, I'd probably also try to leave. And yeah. Then, I mean, quick, quick aside. If you had to, if you had to pick up a, a movie, uh, somebody in the WWE universe as of 2006 to have their own horror movie, who would you pick? You can't pick Kane. Ooh, I mean, oh Dexter Baby. Loomis, come on, easy. As of two thousand six, two thousand six, two thousand six. My bad, dog. Yes, yes. Because it, because if we could go outside of that oh, range, Boogeyman, dude, Scooby Doo, John Cena. The oh, Boogeyman the Boogeyman too, terraforming it's... the Earth with a smog and wind. Uh, 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 oh, uh, dude, the Boogeyman's too easy. Come on, give me something. What about inspired. the Rabbit Wolverine? You can make like an M Night horror movie with Paul Burchill with the. Oh bombs, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so. I either Kane 
moves real fast in this movie or he can teleport because whatever floor they were on down there where he killed the cop he's back on the penthouse watching these kids party behind a two-way mirror well that's his lair action that yeah right lair action how could i forget this is his lair we see oh russell and melissa sneak off to bone in the apartment with cockroaches in it Mm -hmm. yeah yep yep and, yep. a, and a painting of Something. some woman it with a mask. Off, it sets off the sex alarm. It oh, the sex alarm. yeah. It does. It the does. sex alarm it just went off. Titties oh. were found on the premise. Kane, behind the two-way mirror, picks up Kira, goes to take her somewhere else, makes sure to smack her against the wall and knock her out. Like twice. Once again, the physical comedy in this is top-notch. <laughs> Wait, hold up a second. I need to pause. I just went on Wikipedia and I found out Tyler Bates did the music for this movie. Yeah, Tyler Bates. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Hey, he did a lot of horror movies. He's done so many good movies, though. <laughs> all in our all winners. After that, we cut to Kane's HQ inside the hotel. This is absolutely the grossest room in the whole hotel because it is full of corpses and, like, no light, it's just really bad. He's got he has, this weird... He has a prison made out of shopping carts. Yes, a prison made of shopping cart and what I believe to be dog kennels, and he's got Kira in there. So she's having fun. Richie we is see Dad up Hannah, on the we see bookshelf. other bodies. Oh, we see Richie, our boy Richie, un- unconscious, tied up to, like, those um, bookcase ladders that roll. He's tied up to that. Uh, Kane comes back. Oh, he sees Richie's awake now. Time to take his eyes out. Why? Why do he you wait so long? Out. He wanted him to be up. Kane... It's rude to just take a guy's eyes when they're like asleep. Kane... He did Kane it multiple just... times. Kane's just like a heat of the moment kind of guy. It. Who knows? We don't. We like like Dave said earlier. We find out something. Yeah, he sees evil. Uh, he's we a, cut he's to a the... heat of the moment kind of politician. We cut yeah. to the penthouse. Michael's trying to get with Zoe. Zoe's like, "Ha ha, you're a dumb bitch. I wouldn't get with you." <laughs> Uh, hang on, my sister is calling me on this phone I stole from Hannah. Correct. It's... I deleted that information the moment I got it. It's important. It's important. <laughs> it is, but I'm just shocked that 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 that, that is what what happened. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then we cut back to Kane. He is mesmerized by Kira, but then he gets mad and puts her in the shower. He's doing the same thing. We're flashing back to him as a child. A woman is holding his head underneath the shower. No way. Open your eyes. Wash out the sin. Wash out the sin. Uh, something, yeah. something about that. And so he's 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 getting her, he's doing the shower scene with her, and then he pulls up the back of her shirt and he stops. He's he's like, oh, big cross tattoo on her back. And eh, my notes are really fucked on this one. Uh, Hell yeah. The sex havers uh-huh. are still making out. Uh, on the bed, the foreplay, uh, but they have insane. not. The foreplay is yeah. heavy. They have not stripped. They have I'd not say, moaned. I'd say this is an appropriate amount of foreplay right here. The the camera pans maximum down. Maximum slickness. There is a wire attached to the bottom of this bed. The wire goes to this intricate pulley system that rings a bell in Kane's headquarters. Yeah, Kane if that hears bed the moves bell. An inch. Yes, Kane hears the bell, throws Kira back in the cage, and goes to get them. Speaking, the sex alarms are going off, buddy. Speaking of the shower scene, one specific bed in this one specific room of this whole hotel. Why? Why did they make Kira drink the water twice, man? So it's like they were Uh, alluding to a scene that's going to happen. But why? But why? (laughs) He let Jesus take the immune system. Oh my goodness! Either. Someone must have had something against the no. actress who played Kira. Maybe. Will oh, they ever? Will Will these two ever have sex? I don't know. Uh, no, because Melissa's like, wait, what? Something's up with that mirror because she could just somehow tell it was a two way mirror. Russell goes to check it out. It's like, yo, you're right. This is a two way mirror, and then a light turns on. In the other side of the mirror, where Kane's in, and it just shows Kane's silhouette looming over. Is that over how that it. works? Yeah. Okay. When, when two-way mirror, if a light source big enough goes off on the other side, yeah. But why would he do that? Side. You know what? I, uh, dramatic maybe, effect. Tie it's a movie. Maybe but... there's conceit to be made, right? That like all these people are in prison in some aspect. 
Maybe oh. she's been in enough interrogations where she knows what a two-way mirror looks like. Because you can Ooh. tell. But also, like, why yeah. would he break the two-way mirror that, that he uses? Ah, the, the, he's know? the master of physical comedy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. again, we're That's talking... Complete... Yeah, he's he he knows all about a good bonking right there. Yeah. yeah. So Kane, yeah, Kane bursts through the mirror, starts chasing Russell and Melissa. They run off. They hide in this big utility closet. They're like, shush, shush, shush. What We're the losing fuck Naram, was that? Everybody. We're losing Naram. What the fuck he's is out. that smell? He'll be all right. All right, people. What the dog. fuck is that Naram? <laughs> what is that smell? <laughs> <laughs> they're they're hiding in the utility closet. They're like, we gotta get the fuck out of here. They open the window. Oh, there's no bars. And there just happens to be a fire hose crammed into this utility closet. Russell grabs it, ties it to Melissa. She's she's all freaking out. She's hysterical, blah, blah, blah. So she's being lowered. Russell is carefully lowering her. And then she's still screaming and fighting. She's like, stop, stop, stop. She stops. Then she starts going back up. Why is she going back up? Yeah. We look up. What oh, happened? My. Russell's dead. No. Kane's, got, Kane's got the hose. No. I will no. say, Kane had the most sadistic face in this whole in this scene for like like the most of the movie. Bro, he Kurt, he's seeing evil right now. That's <laughs> he what is happened. seeing so much evil. So he got he has Melissa up. He's like trying to grab her. She leans back too far, slips out of the hose, but it catches her feet. So now she's dangling. So then Kane lowers her back down a bit as she's like let me go let me go and then big grin on his face lets her go this is like one of the most gruesome scenes i don't i don't care what anybody says she falls a good and she bonks her head stories bonks her head burst through the glass ceiling of the atrium breaks her left arm because she had it extended enough she was trying to stop herself from hitting the ground which that was so nasty and you just see the bone break out of her arm and she is just dangling there she doesn't know what to do and then the stray dog comes back Uh now the good pupper the the heck the dog is hungry boys what what is there? Oh, there's there's red goo on the floor. I'll lick that up. We hungry. Oh, he's got the I'm taste hungry. of human flesh. Snack. So the dog begins to bark, and calls his boys as four more dogs come out of this hole in the wall, and they eat Melissa, the animal lover, alive, as she dangles I, from a fire hose. Why did they do her like that? Well, hold on. So, like, her whole bit, her whole part of this movie is that she's in jail because she... No, no, no. She liberated the dog pound to save all these animals. She helps out the animals. She says, hey, you know what? This dog's really nice. I'm going to help feed it. Michael, the asshole, throws cans at it, and she's really upset. And so her death, eaten by dog. But it's a... You got to remember, it's a doggy dog world out here. I guess, but, like, what? It it is a doggy dog world. I guess it was, like, ironic... Yeah, it's funny. That, yeah, it would it would be like, be ironic, this, yeah, this is you know as good horror always does. It bridges no, hold the on, gap between the 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 funny and the scary. Yeah, because yeah, while that's comedy. happening, while the dog is thinking about eating the dog lover, uh, we get Mister Jacob Kane Michael like really <laughs> thumbing the fucking eye out of Russell. Oh yeah, like oh like that was a really good prosthetic because I was actually disgusted. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was gross, but it was good. Oh, yeah. uh, I just I don't then... get what she did wrong to deserve that death because that's like one of the most gruesome deaths in the movie. Yeah. God uh, and damn. then we cut back to uh, Zoe and Mike. The They're scene, wandering around, back around, uh, trying to just find their way out of the penthouse. Uh, they get to the elevator. Oh, Kane's here, but he wasn't fast enough. Michael sees him first. He's alert. Hits Kane with the pipe, fights him off a bit. Mike, Mike and Zoe, they run can we, can off, we, hide. What? Can, can we, we pause real quick? Because in the transition before, it, like, uh, they like start the fight with the killer. Yeah. It's it's uh, Zoe and Michael walking back. Michael's like, "You're such a tease, you skank." And then Zoe's like, "You don't even have a car, you poor bitch." <laughs> it's just like just blew his ass out of the fucking water here. Bro did not oh, stand a chance. There was a there was a fucking scene also before the oh, fight oh. where where Michael goes to open this door. He's like, ah, it's locked. And Zoe's like, move, you're stupid. And just like 
gently pushes it, and she turns around all pissed off. It's Locke! Like, <laughs> she's like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> Look, okay, Gregory Black, questionable decisions. Gregory and Dark, dude. <laughs> whatever his name is, he's, he is a, a studier of the Looney Tunes philosophy. And I love it. He ain't wrong. Really? Like I said, really? there's a lot of physical comedy in this, and it typically hits. <sighs> but yeah, Michael so... Michael Michael belts out a, a, a an R word slur. It's tough. It you was know? crazy. Yeah. That really hit us. It was Jacob a Michael punch. Man comes after him. He heard it. Yeah, <laughs> truly. Uh, Michael manages to fight off Kane. Uh, they run. They hide. Kane's looking for him, all angry and stuff. Almost finds Michael, but doesn't. Almost finds Zoe. He's given up. Zoe's phone rings. No. <gasps> Gives <gasps> away her position. No. no. Rule number one of horror survival. Turn off your fucking phone if it doesn't work. Sure. And so, what does well, Kane do when he finds she wasn't even supposed to have her? it. No, she wasn't supposed to have it. She stole it sinning, from the bro, lady counselor. Sinning, bro. The sinning. The sinning. And what does Kane do with this ringing cell phone? This Nokia cell phone he can't break it he doesn't know how to turn it off he shoves it in so zoe's throat <laughs> and ty during our first watch you mentioned the crunching uh -huh. of zoe's throat as this phone was going into it on my rewatch yeah that it's was just nasty like, it's nasty there's something that's so grotesque about a phone going in your mouth too it's just oh, probably uh, one of the worst yeah. things that could possibly happen to you yeah, but Wild... fair, people were already showering here and banging on the cockroach bed. Like, yeah, fuck it, She right? put somebody. Oh, out the she had somebody else's phone in her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. Wild, dude. Oh, Disgusting. Uh, while Kane is killing Zoe, uh, we're getting more flashbacks of him being in a cage as a boy. Uh, then we hear the woman's voice of his past. The eyes are the windows to the soul. Kane just fucking gets her and drags her away. I don't remember if he rips out her eyes, because I don't think I see her corpse later on. And it, she's dead, though. Um, All right, Pete. He just, he just charged it to the game. I'm, maybe she's maybe she's not dead yet, but we'll, not, we'll never know. We'll never know, because uh, we cut to Ty and Christine. They hear the commotion. They think <gasps> Kane's coming for them, because they hear real big stomping. So oh. Christine... Points the gun she got from Frank uh, around the corner. Shoots twice. Oh, but it's Michael. Almost oh, kills him. Which she, which she did. What the fuck is that link? And then once again, the and survivor's like, ready Jimmy up to Franklin. attack Kane. Pretends to be coming out of the elevator above them. Instead, he bursts through the wall behind them. Catches them off guard. Christine uh, shoots a bullet at uh, Kane. Misses uh, horrifically. Mike fights off with the pipe, but he gets bodied immediately because Kane's got an axe. Picks him up, throws him into a mirror on the wall. Doesn't kill him, <laughs> though. Odd move. So Ty and Christine try to escape through the elevator. Kane breaks the control panel outside of the elevator, thus breaking it, which I guess is how this elevator works. Sure. Yeah, it's an elevator from like the '60s. Yeah, you know. mm -hmm. uh, they escape through the fire ha uh, hatch, which is apparently not how those are supposed to work nowadays. But I digress. Kane tries to get them. Ty, using the taser given to him by the cop, tases Kane in the hand, uh, and they manage to get away for the time being. They find some dead homeless people. Uh, then they find the money. From the safe, because in Kane's piss jar room where he keeps all the eyeballs, there's the safe, and all of the money is plastered on the walls of the room with something, and Ty's just like, oh, damn, look at all this money. Ooh, so could this be a sin? Off, he tries to take it off the wall, but it's, like, really mm. gross, and, you know, they're in mortal danger, so he doesn't... <laughs> Uh, they find Kira locked up in the cage. Kane is coming. Uh, oh, oh. No, he's So, not. another elevator. Come I don't know how many fucking... No, he wasn't, he wasn't coming. You're right. <laughs> that was the problem. <laughs> Got him. Hard cuts, elevator doors opening, and Kane is just wrestler posing 
the best way I could describe it, at right just as this elevator door opens, it was a very funny dot for me, <laughs> at least. Menacingly standing there. Yeah, he, he was looks maxing, mu maxing. <laughs> yes, he <laughs> was. He truly was. Uh, Ty and Christine, they hide so Kane doesn't find them. And they need to find a way to distract Kane so they can get Kira out of the cage and help her. Kane, mesmerized by Kira once again, begins to touch himself through his pants. Whoa. Uh, so like Kira like starts scratching calling... his leg? Yeah, like that. Kira <laughs> calls him a pig. And so Kane gets flashbacks of him being a small bald child in a cage, naked, looking at torn up photos of women also touching himself and him being degraded by old lady mother possibly mother being, being called a pig yep mother ty how'd you feel about that scene yeah how'd you feel about that ty what him you maxing no, no about we're, we're past himself. that but we're past oh, that but yeah, 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 we need you to yeah. check back in you know I, since we need you're to, too we, busy this, killing bits over there this is our this is our lock-in moment of the tie the the tie <laughs> So go ahead and, and let us know what was happening. About yeah, <laughs> bro, he was touching his schmeat, Ty. Buddy, I'm figuring out Gregory Dark facts here. I don't got time to look at uh, him jerking his meat off. Truly, and uh, his anyway, and his and his mom going, yeah. "Stop it! Stop it! Stop touching your your shit!" And he's like, "Oh, uh, mom, no." Little pig, I can see what you're doing. Yeah, I know, I know what we're talking about. Fuck y'all. He thought I was slacking. <laughs> so yeah, then we get a close up of Young Kane's me. Anyway, Whoa. Kane goes go. to open the cage because Kane wants to smell? get down and dirty with Kira, but <laughs> he is stopped by the sound of glass smashing. Yeah, Ties Stone Cold in fucking room. ran in the room, dude. Ty's breaking the piss stars. He's getting eyeballs everywhere. What no, the No, not my fuck? piss. No. no. No, not Kane's piss. Jars filled with eyeballs. I, uh, Jacob, <laughs> Jacob Goodnight Kane command grabs Ty with the taser. It tases ah! him in the neck. Ah! Yes, the, the jars are smashed. Ty hides, hides behind X-ray. the safe. <laughs> uh, Kane goes in to see what's going on. He is sad that his jars have been smashed. Christine is trying to get Kira out of the cage, but... Kane took the keys with him. For whatever reason, now Kane is like, wait, I can smell him. And just knows me. that Ty is hiding behind the safe as it then cuts to Ty peeking out. Kane is there. Ty goes to tase Kane, but Kane, being a wrestler, uses Ty's own arm and tases him in the throat. Ah! To the, shadow, to the shadow realm. And then uses the safe he's hiding behind to crush his lower half. Oh, yeah. no, we, we need to we need to address the the shot of Ty dying because he is literally his corpse is being sent to the shadow realm. He's, his soul is leaving his body. They did in shaky scene. cam oh, as yeah. he was in the safe was on him getting pushed. Ah ah. Yeah. He was hitting them with an ad ad and he like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, we cut back to Kira. Margaret shows up now. She's in the fold. What's going on? She sees Kira alive in the cage and is confused. Like, what are you doing in there? And then Kane shows up. It's like, of course I know him. He's my son. Dun, dun, dun. I don't even think she says that. I think he goes, why is that whore alive? <laughs> yeah, no, no. no she does, does he say that she, after? Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah, so she looks weird. at Kane and it's like, why is this little whore alive? He's the hand Kill of God. Her. He's the hand of God. That's such a fucking. It pisses me off so much. How does how does he how do they keep getting away with it? How do they keep getting away with it? She's so Delulu. Uh, and the only reason why Kane is here is to kill, get revenge on the cop that shot him four years ago. Everybody else was just a bonus. So is the movie over yet? No. No. Bro. Sad. We're getting there. <sighs> so, movie is shit from an ass. Mama bro. Margaret. <laughs> yes. I think we've surpassed the movie run time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mama Margaret tries to get her son to kill Mama Kira. Murphy He's like, tries no, to Mama. Jet. No, Mama. Exactly. I don't want to kill her. <laughs> 2.15. Uh, so, then Margaret grabs the gun that was left on the table, goes to Going shoot in. Kira. Kane stops her. <laughs> We do a lot of back and forth, a lot of flashbacks of Mama Margaret torturing her own son. 
uh, when Kane had the first girl with the tattoos uh, all tied up and still alive, Mama Margaret rips out one of her eyes, traumatizes Kane by pu- putting it in his face. We get oh, so yeah, you we, got it. We hear Kane utter his one and only line in the film, which is. I can see it because the whole thing is about <laughs> seeing evil. Kane can see the evil, fellas. Oh, so no. what does he do? He grabs his own mama and throws her into these spikes that are just on the wall. Mama. Ooh. I've seen the evil tight. folks. This is probably the best one. This is crazy, dude. I see the evil. We've seen the evil. We are taking care of it. I have a good friend. He's the current mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee. He is taking care of the evil, everybody. He has and thrown his own mother. He grabs Kira out of the cage and takes her somewhere. I don't see an somewhere. evil. Christine grabs, uh, gets up from her hiding place, grabs the gun. We hear that stupid fucking Jesus song playing again about Jesus loving all the children of the world. Yada, yada. Jesus is the one... Uh, Christine finds Kane death gripping Kira's neck, and so, like, Kira says to Christine, shoot him, and so Christine holds the gun to Kane's head, and I'm not a gun nut, uh, but I certainly know that a lot of shots were fired from that gun. And guess what? It's out of bullets. So, we hear the click, Kane snaps out of it. Uh, has both women uh, in chokeholds about to kill them. Who's that from behind? It's Mike. He's got two weapons now. He's got the pipe and Kane's axe. Hits Kane with the pipe, then shoves the axe into one of his legs, and then hits him a couple more times in the back of the head with the pipe, and then... Mortal Kombat Fatality. Mortal Kombat Fatality stabs the pipe into the hole, the bullet hole in the back of Kane's head, revealing his head is full of flies and maggots, which reveals why flies appeared whenever Kane's around. So here's the stupid bit, because as I'm watching it, they show that scene earlier on, even though they probably shouldn't have, because I don't remember it, but they flashed forward to Kane's head having a hole in it and maggots coming out. So yeah. why oh. did they do that? Why did they do that? When uh, Williams was discussing his fucking... Uh, story is like, oh, dude, I'm, yeah, 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 I'm gonna yeah. go after Kira. Like, there was a hole in his head. They showed it, but the big yeah. reveal I later. I remember that. I didn't remember that flash. Yeah, the good thing I'm having a third watch without the sound. <laughs> I just notice all the stupid <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's just, yeah, no, the fucking head, fucking full of maggots and flies. It's nasty. Yum. Yeah. That's People why getting shot in the head and not receiving medical attention will do that to a Jacob Goodfellow. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't change anything about him though. No. What did you do to her? So, Kane injured <laughs> and angry. Brother. He chases them. Shut They're up. on the top floor. And so, <laughs> they lead Kane to a room with an open window. He thinks they crawled out, so he peeks over. They go in for the attack. Mike got the pipe. He starts hitting Kane. The other girls, they start hitting him. They grab a chair. They shove Kane out the window. He's gone. He's finally dead. He is getting bonked repeatedly. <laughs> Kira looks over to confirm. Kane's hand comes out from the window and grabs her. Because of course on. he's hanging on. He's hanging on. That's and what so happens. There, Mike is wailing his fucking uh, Kane's arm. Yes, sir. Pipe, and he is not letting go. They're like just fucking at him. Finally, let's go. But for whatever reason, there are spikes on the ledge of this window at the top floor. His yeah, the hand anti-homeless gets spikes. Yep. <laughs> yes, so there top homeless floor. People. On the top floor. Get him out of the top floor. <laughs> Get him out of the top floor. And so, uh, Kira grabs the pipe, shoves it into Kane's left eye, thus making him tumble down. And he tumbles, people. It's the that funniest pipe, scene in the movie. It's the best scene the, in the movie. The and like and the most CGI is used scene. This is where all the budget went. I yeah. kid you not. 
And so he he hits the side of the building at least four times, tumbling down. And he screams, was, "Oh, oh, oh, oh!" Yeah, well, it's like that scene in I think it's Spider Man Three where uh, James Franco. Yeah, where James Franco falls and comically hits a yes. thousand pipes on the way down. That's, it's, again, yeah. this is this is just physical horror comedy. So, it's, yeah, this nothing th- like it. this movie does have good effects. And honestly, it's kind of shocking how some of the effects are really good. Just the practical six? shit. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty effective. But this was so goofy, and they probably wasted yeah. so much money on it. Yeah. <laughs> they could have yeah, the done a little bit more. It was definitely CGI <laughs> getting Kane on set, and then that sassy cunt. Although it, it is the best scene in the movie, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, because he hits that, he bonks four times, he smashes through. The the pipe gets caught on like the top of the atrium, so his body his body slides off the pipe, falls down. He's covered in glass and nails, and it CGI cuts to inside his chest. His heart is pierced. He is finally dead with one the, eye missing. The fucking Mortal Kombat X ray of his heart exploding was crazy. Yeah, that was, they had to confirm yeah. he was dead. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because he's back in the next movie. No, dun, dun, dun. And so never and ask Glenn Jacobs how he survives his exploding heart. Behind Dead Kane, we see oh. Dead Melissa, who is eaten by dogs. Uh, we cut back to the survivors. They get the keys from Dead Mama Margaret. They go to walk out, and I, I made a point to write these lines down. Christine says to Mike, "You didn't have to come back for us." To which he replies. I didn't want to walk out of here alone, which shows deep down he is just a little boy who's hurting and he just seeks companionship. Yeah. And then the credits roll, and then the credits stop rolling so that the stray dog comes back and pees in Kane's eye socket. It's End so funny. Movie. It's yes so sir, funny, dude. Yes, sir. Okay. So good. So let me let me uh, say something. So we're we're talking about these evil sinners, right? And you got the biggest piece of shit asshole. He survives. He's actually the badass, and he has a redemption arc because he's so good, and he protected the girl he tried to sexually assault in the the prison the shower earlier. Yep. So I mean, yep. I, I you know you know the girl that he got in jail, you know the girl that he uh, fucked over completely. Oh, she survived too because she's a good Christian woman that uh, yeah. she said nothing about it. She had tattoos. Uh, that's about it. She did really yep. nothing biblical or. And then no. Christine, surprisingly, a woman of color survived. A, a yeah. horror movie, and that's you know, that's shocking. It, it was it impressive was, that they didn't go for three the, the two people of color in this movie. Three survivors, yeah. and they don't even have an end story. They just kind of leave, and that's it. There's no they like did. where did they go or anything, just nothing. Yeah, and then Lincoln Park plays at the end. Yeah, and, and then and then even Nuthead shows up. No, even better, yeah. you have a uh, David Banner going X, gonna give it to you, but not really. It's like a low <laughs> version of it. Yeah, it's a weird. X and like you got X'd from society or some yeah, shit. Yeah, some shit. Like you're you now you're now you're a fucking criminal. That's it. What yeah, a strange like ending. It checks out. Because what a this movie has a lot of dog penis in it. Like a little too much for my taste. <laughs> True. That shows final yeah. review. Too much dog well, penis. Well, yeah. Well, there was all those dog bits on like yeah in raw and stuff. So. Oh, that was yeah. Royal Rumble. Rumble for dogs, I guess, back in 2006. That was both Raw Down and Smack Up. That was Royal Rumble. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know. The cycle is complete for the You Don't Have to Do This okay. Dog Pussy Dog Penis Network. Now since we the, back, got back since to the, the movie is Since oh, the movie is over you. and we it's, made it through, yeah. see no evil, I need to go back and tell you a little bit about Gregory Dark. Some of his movies. He's so got he used a to dark be, history. He was a... He was a <laughs> porn director for a while, and uh, he made some wild Let's films. Go. He made some wild films. Let me let me tell a Let's couple. Read off the names. Uh, his first movie was Bitter Cherry. Uh-huh. Okay. And then he went to Let Me Tell You About White Chicks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then he had to follow that up with Let Me Tell You About Black Chicks. Okay. Uh, Between the Cheeks is a pretty good uh, pretty good name. White Bun Busters. Uh, he had okay. the The Devil and Miss Jones three, four, and five. Mm-hmm. Uh, Backdoor Bonanza Twelve. Wow. Yeah. Oh. So we, we were going. We were going a little crazy with it. the Crease Master. The cre- <laughs> Wow. What's uh, he crease? Oh, hold on. The Crease Master's wife. Ooh. Oh, a sequel. A sequel. And then he had. He went a little crazy. He did some erotic thrillers with Animal Instincts One, Two, and Three, and Secret Games One, Two, and Three. 
And then like, he made a real movie Master called Stranger by Night. Wife. <laughs> and uh, hold on, he's still going there. He got uh, Sex Freaks. He got uh, the shocking truth too. And you know what? Some some freaks saw that and went, you know what? This guy's got a vision. So let, let's let, let's make him do some uh, music videos. So he went to do music videos after this. And so he goes to Sublime, doing time music video. Oh. He gets Ice Cube featuring DMX and DJ Clark Kent, We Be Club and Remix. He gets Outcast Rosa Parks music video. All right, kind he, of based. He gets Counting Crows hanging around music video. He gets Britney Spears from the bottom of my broken heart music video, Stained. Uh, he gets the song uh, Graduation, Friends Forever music video. That was that was Gregory Dark who made that music video. LFO, Mandy Moore. Like he just like what happened? One Step Closer by Linkin Park, Corrupt. What what made this? So he was like a big porn guy making all these like crazy niche porn films, and then the they're Vince like, hey, probably man. was a big fan. Well, I mean, Vince he did was some. A big fan. 18s, I think isn't 18s a fucking yeah, it's a Disney version. Yeah, I don't know. This, they got this man doing Disney fucking shit. <laughs> and then yeah, I mean, look, we just got through the whole he did a quiet two, on the set recently. Two hour and forty minute Britney Spears greatest hits, My Prerogative in two thousand four, and then See No Evil came out. <laughs> and then he did oh, Breaking wow. Benjamin the videos in two thousand nine. <laughs> that was oh wow, that's All it. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> What a, what a fucking career, dude. Like, where did this go from? Like, he just did a bunch of random shit. He did See No Evil. Uh, what, like, what a bizarre person. I would love to, like, just talk to him. Just to see, like, what, like, his career was all about. Like, what made him decide to go from porn to music videos to, like, a directorial debut with WWE. I mean, he just he, he just the followed. opportunities came his way, man. I mean, look he, at him like, hanging look, out with you, Kane. If you're if you're shooting if yeah. you're shooting people getting piped every day, you're gonna look for a way out of it. It's yeah. crazy. According oh, to the wiki, Dark's quote, Dark's films, uh, earned his early uh, career of the '80s and '90s, earned him accolades such as the Spielberg of softcore. That's and crazy. Scorsese of erotic thriller. That's good for good for him, man. So, for he, was, for like he, a, he had some the good Scorsese effects for this movie. Thriller is crazy. If if he would have just cut out like if I'm, like here, let me just um, fantasy cutting. Like if he would have cut that little falling out scene, and then just had Kane fantasy like cutting. explode his heart. Like they didn't show it; they just like looked down at him and like the glass fall. They didn't show any of the goofy shit. It probably would have been a lot better. There was a lot of good shit in the movie, except for the dialogue, of course. Like a lot of the shit just didn't do it but the horror parts the horror effects were really good for its time anything cgi was bad though i don't know what they were cooking the overall cast was just not good for no us, no 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 i the, mean they the had 10 million dollar budget pretty bad and inconsistent 10 million dollar budget is nothing what did they just people have fucking... made people have made more compelling horror movies with less though tyler true but they didn't really have a vision they only had eight was it eight it was eight Let's, uh... I could be wrong. I thought it was 8 and it made 18. Uh, Whatever. Put respect on Gregory Dark's name. He is a member of the X-Rated Critics Organization Hall of Fame. Joe, between you and oh. me, Joe, between you and me, I can tell you were going to say the wrong last name right there. Man. <laughs> yeah, it was a budget of $8 million. Good job. Good job, dude. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. And, they, and they grossed about uh, $19 million. But then it on DVD, $45 million. It was a hit on oh, DVD. Wow. What the hell? Yeah, that's a big letterbox. Classic. I remember, I remember everyone like gushing about this movie. It wasn't like that was good. It's just like holy crap! It was just a horror movie to have on. I remember people talking about. It. I never seen it until like a couple days ago. So a lot of publicity at the time. Yeah, I mean, it's, it got enough to make a sequel. Which I mean, one day maybe, maybe we'll we'll get into it. Mm -hmm. Emerald, what would you? How would you feel about this movie? How did I feel about this movie? Yeah. Final thoughts. How did I feel about this movie? Yeah, some final thoughts. Do you really want to know? Yeah. It was mid. It was mid, yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah, it was... It was, it, was it, it was still shit from an ass. As someone who's seen it three times, <laughs> it's flown by every single time, and it wasn't like, I'm it, like, oh. It's, it's a weirdly paced movie. Everything happens so fast, but it keeps going. Yeah. Yeah, like everyone at home, when we first group watched this, 
Um, it was basically so like nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened, and then he gets meat hooked and pulled up into the ceiling, and then it all very rapidly just goes. Uh, can't kill somebody. Can't kill somebody. Can't kill somebody. Piss in the eyeballs. Uh, the movie ends. Yeah. You know, it was an enjoyable shit from an ass. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, yeah it's Tubi's, on Tubi. Go watch Tubi's it. Tubi's stream quality was so bad, it just kept freezing. Well, because, you know, we're in 2006, it's kind of hard to stream a yeah. bunch of stuff over some, like, what was team, TeamSpeak? Yeah, yeah we're using TeamSpeak. It's like, just hard, expect. man. I rewatched it on the Roku channel, it was fine. What's that? <laughs> uh it's it's a special channel where you get to see Weird Al's biopic starring Daniel Radcliffe. Can I, can I get some Daniel final Radcliffe, thoughts? Thank you. From uh some from Pete, from Joe, from Nico. Just give me some final thoughts. You guys could talk over each other. Just just give me some yeah, final come thoughts. Come on, guys. All yeah. right. You didn't, have, so you didn't have to watch this. You didn't, you didn't, have, so to, you didn't have to watch That's this. That's so true, actually. You know what? I'll give you a final thought, too. Movie was fine. It's the most inoffensive horror movie I've seen in ages. It's It's got no plot whatsoever. Yeah. It, it, it's literally about a guy whose mom told him to not jack off, and then he got upset about it. And then his mom was just abusive. Like, get yeah. over it, dude. All right. It happens to everybody. Yeah, and I mean, like, the gore isn't, like, offensive or, like gross like it's just like yeah it's sufficient you got it it's fine this is, uh, this it is was, one it of was the a, horror movies of all time it was yep. a, it was a fun movie if you're thinking hey we should watch this movie when we have nothing to do you should do it yeah no it's, i can't it's fun. it wasn't oh, like the if chaperone you're, if, you're a, if you're a cane head you gotta do it like the chaperone yeah, if you're was a just a bored, head, yeah. boring ass movie this was actually this, decent fun this Bad movie flew by. will not hey, give you nightmares was great Oh, the chaperone give you nightmares, Emerald? No. Why not? Oh, just the way he said it made me sound think like, oh, he was no, terrified this, by this by long hair, movie, no beard, Triple H. This horror movie that we watched will not give you nightmares. Yeah, it's not like that one with like Kurt Angle and Matt Hardy and all those guys. It's not like that one I starred in. Huh? You really didn't have to watch this, guys. 